I recently had a bunch of compressors come through my studio and I thought I'd hook them all up with the same program material and the same settings approximately and see what they sounded like. I set them for 4 to 1 compression with 10 dB of gain reduction and here were the results. First up is a Manly ELOP. This is an optical tube compressor. Compressor in. Bypass. This compressor also has a sidechain EQ feature. 100 hertz. 200 hertz. Flat. Boy, I really like that 200 setting. That lets the kick drum come through. Uh, it sounds less compressed on the lows, more on the highs. It's a cool feature. Next up is the Smart Research C2. This is an SSL type VCA compressor. Bypass. Compressor in. Settings here are attack 10 milliseconds, release 0.1. Ratio 4 to 1. There's the crush feature. This unit also can do super fast attack. Four slower settings for mastering. Next is the VAC rack and all tube limiter. No controls on this thing other than amount of compression. Compressor in. One of the great things about this unit is the sound quality of the signal path. It's not tubey and tubby and slow like your typical tube unit. It's pretty hi-fi, yet it adds that to non-harsh excitement. It's also a pretty intense limiter. You see how far that needle swings. Now we're trying some software. This is the Bomb Factory BF76. Comes with Pro Tools. Default settings. Slowing down the attack and release. Speeding up the release. More of your typical 1176 sound. Bypass. More reasonable settings. Twenty to one ratio. Pretty aggressive. Now a hardware 1176, at least a universal audio recreation. Unfortunately, I cut off the attack and release knobs in this video. I've been doing the same moves I did on the software version. So, safe settings, slow attack and release, fast release, attack and release set to 6. Some of that kick drum and those toms. There's just a lot more weight to this than the software version. Now for a super transparent compressor from the 80s, the Apex Compeller. Compressor out. Compeller in. This thing has a limiter, a leveler, and compressor that all work together, adjusting the balance to 100% compress. Sure doesn't sound very compressed, yet there's 10 dB of compression. And then here's just the leveler. The leveler mode's even more transparent than the compress mode. Not what you'd want to use to smash some drum rooms, but it could be great for dialogue or leveling some live stuff. Next is the DBX-160X, another VCA compressor from the 80s. Compressor in. 
160 puts a nice snap on the front of every drum, especially the snare. Bypassed. You can also do crazy ratios with this thing. It even has negative infinity as a ratio. For me, I wouldn't use that for drum room smashing. Too much popping going on. I'd rather have the drum rooms be smooth and mix them in with the close mic drums. All right, next is the compressor in the Neve VR channel strip. See the gain reduction meter is the red meter on the left. Bypass. Compressor in. Makes for an aggressive kick drum. Or a more gentle sound. That compressor definitely has a pro-aggressive sound to it. Next up is the Massey Plugin CT4, which is a software compressor for Pro Tools. Compressor in. Bypass. This is one of my favorite Pro Tools compressors, most analog sounding. Fast release. Fast attack and release. Seems like the release is both slow and fast at the same time, kind of like the back rack. That's it for this episode of Compressor Deathmatch.